iPhone cases all the way from Sweden? Let's have a look. Dave Taylor here, and this time I'm looking at cases for the iPhone 10. That's this, and the iPhone 10 is an interesting one to make a case for because it has all those little things in the mystery little notch on the top, and it also does Qi charging, so you want to make sure that your case supports all of this. Let's have a look at what Crucial sent me. Now this is a company out of Sweden, so these have traveled a long way to get to me, but they're really nice premium cases. We're gonna start with this first one that they call the Sune or Sunny. I like to think of it as Sunny. This is a folio wallet and it's a vintage leather, really nice feel to it. And when you open it up, there are two card slots and a flap for money. And you can put more cards in the back Let's go ahead and put a couple of cards in just as a test of course so they do fit and that's reassuring let's see that one fits too and then we can put some money in there I'll have to remember to get it out later <laughs> so that all works of course the most important thing is does the phone fit so let's put the iPhone 10 in and that's easy enough to do so there we go so now we have the case closed and you open it, you can see I have cards and money and the phone itself is in here and it's in there pretty good. The cutout is perfect for the camera, which is nice. Uh, only complaint I would have looking at it right now is number one, it gets pretty thick and there's no way to keep it closed. No magnet, no clasp, no little thing that comes over the side. So this is something where if you're a real fan of wallet cases, you'll know some of them are designed to make it a little more slim. If we take the cash out, it does actually get slimmer. And so then the last test on this sunny folio wallet is does it charge? And the answer is sadly, Oh, there we go. So this one gets more sensitive with the charging location, but it is doing Qi charging, so that's nice. That is a definite plus, because if you have a case like this, you don't want to have to take your phone out of the case every time you want to charge wirelessly, so that's good. Now, let's take this phone out, and let's go to the next one. The next one's even more interesting. The next one is what they call their Arkiva case and maybe Archiva, I'm not sure how they pronounce all these. Haven't been to Sweden for a while, but here's what's cool about this is it's actually a multi-layer case. So you have the sort of TPU rubber case with the little piece on top, but it also comes with a screen protector that's designed to work with it. So that's a really cool idea. You put the screen protector on and then you put the case on and then you put the top on of it. And in fact, the top, as you can see in this close-up, has cutouts for all the different cameras and mystery things that are going on in the notch. And so once you have it all assembled, it's on there. It's a very nice snug fit, has a nice feel to it, and it's designed for that glass protective cover right here. So you have a case that has what they call 360 degrees of protection. So it's a screen protector plus case with bumpers and it's a very nice looking and very nice feeling case and very slim. Now, let's see if we can get this one off. Aha, uh -huh, good. You never really know when you're putting cases on if they're gonna come off easily. Oh, the bottom comes off too, good to know. And, oh, you know what? Let me put it back in because I forgot to test. Let's see if we can charge it. So, this one should be easier. There we go. So this one's charging with Qi charging. So that's good. And, you know, Qi charging, all these charging plates, they're all a little sensitive in terms of exact location and placement of the phone. It's kind of the nature of them. All right, third one is actually my favorite of the three. This one is the Toomba. And this is, again, leather, and it's sort of a marble finish on it. It's really quite pretty, and it takes two cards. So let's put two cards in here. So let's see, one snug there, one goes here, and let's put the phone in it. And here we go. So now we have the phone in here, and on the back we have our two card storage and it's in pretty snug 
and they've sort of taken a sidestep. Instead of having cut out holes for the buttons, they just have these big notches that let you have access to all the phones, um, all the buttons, I should say. <laughs> and then on the back, it's the perfect shape cut out again for the camera. So another win. And then the question becomes again, will it charge? So it is charging. So there you go. So they've done a really nice job. They all, all three of these cases have a really nice feel to them. The finish is really nice. They look very premium and they're kind of expensive. And here's one of the things that's complicated is that at this moment in time, at least all their prices are just in Euro. So you'll probably want to open up another window for conversion so that you can figure out how much it is in US dollars or in British pounds or in yen or whatever it is. They ship worldwide. Now, let's go down the list. So this is the Sune, Sunny, Sunne, <laughs> however you want to pronounce it. This Folio wallet is 34.90 euros. And then this guy with the screen cover and the whole case and everything, this 360 degree protection, the Archiva, this is 29.90 euro. And then finally, this one that I actually have on my phone, this one is the Tumba, and this is again 39.90 euro. So they are fairly expensive, but they are definitely premium, very well-made cases, and they feel like they're gonna last a really good long time. And now that we're talking about a good long time, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so we can stay in touch for a really good long time. Awesome, thank you. Now, you can learn more about these and pick up one for yourself if you're so inclined at mycrucial.com. And I gotta say, I'm a fan. If you like leather cases, if you like wallet cases in particular, these are really, really nice options. So I say check it out. This is Dave Taylor and I'll catch you in my next video.